In this example, we will be walking through the different structural types of SysML diagrams. So for a bigger context, we can see our nine different types of SysML diagrams. We will be focusing on the structural diagrams in this example. So we have our block definition diagram, internal block diagram, package diagram, and parametric diagram. We'll start with the block definition diagram. The block definition diagram is the most flexible of the structural diagrams within SysML and you do your decomposition as well as your taxonomy creation. So what you're seeing here is we see the generalization relationships as well as the directed composition relationships down here. So we would say that the Pizza Planet delivery truck is a type of ground vehicle. And then we would say that vehicle has a control system, it has a payload, it has a chassis, and it has a propulsion system. Our internal block diagram is how items will or parts will connect between one another. So this is our toaster and we've got three different components of the toaster, the power supply, the start toasting lever and the heating element. And we've got uh, interface proxy ports and connections between them and then item flows that go over, over the top of these connectors. The package diagram, this is going to be little to do with the system of interest and all to do with model organization. So it is how you're organizing your model. And a lot of this package diagram is done within the containment tree already for you. So package diagrams are not extremely helpful unless you're trying to show navigation pages or how things are structured within the model. The parametric diagram is a special type of internal block diagram. And the parametric diagram has to do with math. How, um, for this example, we've got the doctor's waiting room and you would have your input, your value properties here in pink. So the number of magazines is the input, the wait time would be the output, and we have our constraint block here. So as a high level, high level overview, I would start with the block definition diagram as your main structural diagram and then I would work towards your internal block diagram. So you're, you decide how to decompose the system and then you say how those parts are connected. And then you would add math. And then while you're doing the uh, decomposition of the system, you also need to think about how you want to structure the model itself. So a package diagram can become necessary. Hope that helps. Thanks.